Hello, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be trying out some viral TikTok makeup. I'm actually super excited about this because most of these are from Sephora, with the exception of two things. You guys know I love my affordable stuff, so I'll definitely be like the first to tell you and let you know when a high-end product is worth the splurge. So today we're gonna to try out some new stuff, and I also have a couple of things that I have already used, and I'll let you guys know my thoughts along the way. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's get into it. Okay, first product I have is my newest obsession. This is the Summer Fridays Lip butter balm I have the vanilla one but this also does come in a couple other shades that I believe give off like a light tint which I think I want to try those eventually but I am just so like obsessed with this vanilla one this is just the most luxurious lip balm honestly but you could really use this of course as a lip balm but like over any of your favorite lip colors because it's like essentially a clear gloss it's not sticky it is so hydrating and I've been using it every single day morning and night all throughout the day ever since I got it at this point so yeah it's amazing and I do think this is a good splurge item also, it has a nice little curve like the applicator and I feel like it fits your lips perfectly. So they killed it with this formula. I really, really like it. I know it's just a lip balm, but like it's a good one. So love, I would definitely repurchase. Okay, next up for primer, I've used this before and it's another one of my favorites. It's the Say Glow Super Gel. Is that what it's called? Say say glowy super gel in star glow i freaking love this stuff so much if you're into like that charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter glow you're gonna love this product it doesn't provide any coverage though so it's really like sheer but it gives you a glow i personally really like it i think it's a nice product to use under a lot of different foundations and it's really really hydrating as well so when you put it on it kind of feels like a skincare product like it feels like a serum but look at that glow that it gives the skin like it makes it look so plump and dewy but you can see there isn't any coverage so there's no like tint or anything to this but it definitely adds a beautiful glow to the skin perfect i think also if you have dry skin you would love this product I am so excited about this product. So I got the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I honestly wasn't really super interested in this because I wasn't even sure what it was. So I was kind of like, I don't need it, whatever, when it first launched. But I saw a TikTok about this and I was like, okay, that looks interesting so basically this product it's a coverage boosting blurring balm to powder that balances oils throughout the day while maintaining hydration and it also gives you a little bit of coverage this is what it looks like and it comes with a little like spatula which is nice i got the color four i really wanted the shade three but they were sold out and i was like too anxious so hopefully maybe i can make this work the girl on tiktok who did this she'd like just used her fingers and applied it but you can also take the little spatula scoop it up and apply it with a brush i kind of want to try this out with my fingers so and see what I come up with and how it looks. So let's, let's do it. Ooh. Ooh, okay, wait, the color is, I think a little, like slightly too dark, but like it works. Pretty. It's just like your skin, you know? Like, I'll have to try this. I got a little blemish right there, like a scar actually. And I will go over this with a brush to like really blend it in and maybe give me a little bit more coverage. But first impressions, I really like how easy it is, like the concept of it. It's like a, I guess the name of it is right, a blurring balm. You just put it in and it kind of like blurs your skin and smooths you out but it's like still your skin. Like it doesn't feel or look like a layer of foundation or even like a skin tint, like it's just like your skin it's like the weirdest thing but it actually looks really pretty of course this doesn't have a lot of coverage but it's not really meant to be something full coverage so you know i think it's a really nice product based on like how i'm applying it and how it looks and how it blends it seems like it's something that's really good for like no makeup makeup days because it doesn't really like i said even feel like a skin tint like it doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin but it like is looking enhanced i'm gonna go in with a brush and kind of just oh wow yeah see the brush helped so much with that next we're gonna go in with the ever so famous kosas concealer i tried this out over a year ago and i honestly didn't really love it but i believe the color that i had was also off so i'm hoping that this shade will be a good one i got color 04n okay yay i think the color is also gonna be good feels creamy and i'm using my anisa beauty angled concealer brush Let me just say that I feel like I like 
so many more concealers now and I just feel like the concealer blends out so much better with a brush versus with a sponge so this is your sign to try out a brush with your concealer because then I feel like you also use a little bit less product because with the brush it kind of enhances the coverage whereas with the sponge it soaks a lot of it up okay wait but this looks actually good it blended into the skin really nicely I would say it has like some natural medium coverage it's not super intense but it definitely does do something to the under eyes which I do really like the color that I have now is way better than the first one that I originally tried but it feels a little bit thicker when you first apply it, but still super creamy. You can see it does melt into the skin. I really love the Kosas foundation, the one with the SPF in it. That one is like one of my favorite high-end foundations. I think it looks so good and it lasts really well, but I think this actually looks really pretty. Not super full coverage, but it definitely covers what you needed to in the most natural way. I also really like how hydrating the product is. It's really, really dewy though. So if you're not into like a really hydrated dewy concealer like if you're into a matte formula this is not for you it does look really good i actually like it i can't say that it's like a holy grail because i definitely have a couple other favorites but i do think it's a pretty concealer and we'll see how it wears throughout the day but i mean i kind of want to build it up but i'm like girl you don't need any more concealer so let's just like leave it as is next up i'm gonna go in with the soul body face and body bronzing balm i've seen people saying that this is a dupe for the what is that called the chanel bronzer the big one like the cream bronzer i personally have never tried that i recently tested this out and i really liked it so we're gonna try it out again i have the color light i feel like i need light medium or maybe medium if they have it light i don't know but light is the color that I have today so we're gonna use that so I'm gonna use my elf complexion duo brush and I'm gonna just swirl this in here and just put a little bit in here this smells amazing as well it kind of just reminds me of summer it's like very tropical but look at how easily the product just blends and it gives such a beautiful wash of color so I don't know about the Chanel bronzer but I know this one is really really creamy like look at that you get like instant color but it is so blendable so this is definitely like one of my favorite like new products I like I said I only used it once this is now my second time but like I remember the first time I used it really enjoyed it and then now I'm like yeah this is bomb I just need to get a little bit of a darker color but I also don't really think the shade is that bad and you could definitely enhance it a little bit more with like a powdered bronzer and I mean like I just can't get over that like blendability like that's so nice also the Danessa Myricks balm I don't really notice it drying down totally matte does feel i mean i just went over with the cream bronzer but beforehand it didn't feel like on my nose it doesn't feel totally matte but it also doesn't feel super dewy so i feel like it does like dry down a little bit but you could always go over with a little bit of a, like a lighter powder just if you have like fine lines or if you just want to kind of set which is what i'm gonna do i'm definitely gonna set mostly like in this area right here just very lightly because i don't want anything to move throughout the day and i have combo skin so i always like to do that anyway but i feel like if you have really dry skin you could probably leave the blur balm from danessa myricks as is because it does like dry down a little bit but like i said it's not too matte which is nice so next up i have a cream blush this one is from kaja i believe that's how you pronounce it it's the cheeky stamp blendable blush this is like so freaking cute i don't know if you guys have seen this maybe you have but it's adorable so it's like a little heart stamp when you apply it okay so you remove the top of this and then you have your blush and then you have the little stamp that's like a little heart and you just dip it inside of here like so oh my god that's so cute i love it like shut up that's adorable i'm just wiping off the same brush that i was using for the cream bronzer and i'm just gonna use that same brush <gasps> Ooh, that is so pretty i love that color it's like the perfect fall shade love i need to kind of blend out the edges a little bit but that also blended out so easily like what this is what the product looks like it's kind of like a cushiony 
formula, but it's so blendable. And then the packaging is really interesting. I think that's really cute. It's a little bulky, but it's cute, so I like it. Okay, so I am gonna set everything, even though, like I mentioned, I feel like the Danessa Myricks product isn't totally like super dewy. I still like to set, and I'm gonna use a really lightweight powder anyway, and that is the Kosas Feathery Cloud Set Powder. Every person, I feel like, loves this powder. And I have used this, but I have other favorites. I think I like my LYS translucent powder a little bit more, but let's try it out again today because I'm loving the complexion. So let's see how it looks today. I'm gonna use this right under my eyes. And I guess what is nice about this powder though is when you set your makeup, it still looks like your skin. Like it doesn't look like you put on a layer of powder. So I feel like that's why so many people love it because it really is like a cloud. Like it's so lightweight. Now, if you are looking for a very matte powder, this is not for you. I feel like if you have dry skin, you would really actually love this formula. Like if you don't like powder, or if you don't really like to set your makeup, like you want a little something, I feel like this is a really nice powder for that. And I'm gonna use a different brush for the cheek area. The concealer is a little, it's a little creasy. I don't, it's like weird, like I like it, but I feel like I like it more to set my face than my under eyes. I think it looks a little bit better like on the actual skin versus my under eyes. Personally, I think I like a couple other powders more, but as a setting powder, if you're looking for something that is really smooth and that's not matte and that doesn't feel powdery, I do think this is nice. The formula is super smooth. It does look good, but like I said, I do, I feel like like it a little bit more on this area, especially where I have larger pores, I think it looks better versus the under eyes. Do I like this more than my LYS powder? I don't think so, but I do think it is a nice powder. And now we're gonna go in with some bronzer and I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I personally do like this. I think it's a nice formula, super smooth. If you're gonna splurge on this, I do think it's nice. It's a, it's a really nice bronzer. I like the color of this too. I have the shade Medium 2. LA Girl Matte Bronzer is apparently like a dupe. I don't think the formulas are exactly the same, but I do think if you're looking for a big, large bronzer that is also really smooth, that's affordable, I think this one is a good option. But if you splurge on this one from Charlotte Tilbury, you won't be disappointed it as well so i'm gonna use the one from charlotte tilbury and i'm just gonna add just a little bit because you can still see some of that cream bronzer there but i'm just gonna kind of enhance this just a little bit i also love my fenty beauty bronzer juvia's place bronzer duo but the color on this is really nice because it is slightly warm but it's not muddy on my skin and it doesn't pull a lot of orange so that's why i do really like this color and by the way, this brush is a very expensive brush from Hourglass, but I love it. It's like their powder, like duo brush. It's so nice. See, like that, I think it looks really, really good. I feel like the complexion in general, though, it, it looks nice. Like, I'm happy with it. Yeah, I don't like the powder on the under eyes, actually, like, at all. They look kind of, like, not fully set, if that makes sense. Like, hmm. Yeah, the powder for me is going to be a good touch-up powder, but honestly, I don't even really see myself repurchasing it. Like, I think I like, out of everything Kosas, the foundation is probably like my number one favorite thing, even over the concealer, but the concealer is nice. It is just a little creasy. I just think I need a little bit of a better powder for the under eyes. And now I have a powdered blush and I'm gonna use this. You can't really even see like the cream blush. I could have probably added more, but I did go over it with other products and stuff. But what I'm gonna do, just to add and enhance the blush a little bit more, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Volume for palette. I am so happy that these Juvia's Place blushes are getting the recognition they deserve because I have been obsessed with these for like over a year and they are so good. So this is a new color. I'm going to go in with this like bubblegum pink, which is very like out of my comfort zone, but we're going to try it out and see the color on my skin. I've seen this on a couple different skin tones and it looks so good. And if you guys haven't tried the blush duos, they have other shades and they are stunning. And I like these a lot. I love the volume two one. This is one of my favorite duos because you basically get two blushes in one. You also get a mirror and you're never going to run out of these. Like blush is a turtle and especially this one, the formula is so nice and smooth. It's like pigmented, but there's not a lot of kickback and it's just, it goes on really nicely. I also love the bronzer. So if you don't want to splurge on an expensive bronzer, Bronzer. This is great. It's $18, but again, you get two. So two bronzers for one. And I love the shade medium. The shade range on this is bomb as well. So always raving about those, but I'm excited about this color. So let's try it out. I haven't used a bubblegum pink like this since e.l.f. Like e.l.f. used to have a little single blush and it was like this color. And I feel like I haven't used blush like this since probably high school. <gasps> That's stunning. 
Oh my god, it's like Barbie bubblegum pink, but like, how pretty is that shade? Oh, I love this formula, it's so nice. You can get it at Ulta, and it's worth every penny. This blush is stunning. Apparently this is also like a nice dupe for the Dior blush that is like really, really popular. And then look at this bright one. That is like so nice. And I feel like these are wearable, like even though they're bright. Now I have a new lip liner. This is the Kosa's Hot Liner and it's the Hyaluronic Acid Plumping Lip Liner. I've never used a plumping lip liner before. So I got the color Peak, which is a warm rosy beige. And I really like the packaging, by the way. It's a little bit like, it's just a twist up, like retractable, but it's nice. Probably have to get past like that first layer. I feel like I wasn't getting, there we go, a lot of pigment. Okay, wait, I don't really like the formula. You definitely have to get past the like first little layer of product and then it becomes slightly more like pigmented like the color actually shows up a little bit more okay yeah the lip liner for me is gonna be a no i mean like it's decent like it's pretty but i feel like it's more of a dry formula and you have to go over your lips like a couple times for the color to be like super intense and for you to actually be able to get that color on your lips i'm currently really loving the rare beauty lip liners that is such a creamy formula i'm actually going to go in with that a little bit just to fix this up. So in Rare Beauty, I love the color Wise. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna actually go in with this one a little bit. And then I also have been really enjoying the color Worthy, which is a little bit more of like a mauve pink. Love both of these. The formula is really nice. It's creamy. Now, I did pick up this. I've seen so many different people talking about this and I have to try it for myself. It is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Lip Gloss. We're gonna try it out and I got the color George. So let's... Let's see what the hype is about. If, every time I see this, I'm like, need. The packaging is really nice. It's kind of like frosted glass. You can't really see much of the color though, but look at that applicator. I really like that. It's kind of like curved a little bit. Oh, it smells good. So let's see. The formula is really smooth. I really like this applicator and this shade I think is stunning. I know I had lip liner on underneath, but I'll swatch it for you so you can see. It does have a tint, really, really beautiful. This actually, I feel like did like smooth my lips out. Like it looks so smooth, but still very like just juicy and supple. I also like it too because it doesn't feel super plumping. It feels slightly minty, but nothing crazy. I'm typically not a huge fan of like plumping lip glosses because they can sting like crazy. Like the ones from Too Faced, I don't really like those like I just don't like the way they feel on my lips but this actually feels really really nice and I love like how juicy it makes your lips look all right guys so let's do some quick speed reviews and chat about these products because there's a lot of good ones so I'm gonna start in the order that I did my makeup say super glowy gel you already know if you like glowy dewy skin if you have dry skin I think you would love this product if you just are looking for a little skin enhancer this is beautiful under so many foundations so many BB creams tinted moisturizers everything it's a really nice very glowy gel so I really love that product. This Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I am like kind of upset that it took me this long to try this. This is genius. I love everything about this. I think it went on beautifully. I like that you can use a brush if you want to concentrate the product and get a little bit more coverage. But I do think this looks stunning with your fingers. It's so quick and easy too. Like you could just throw this on in the morning if you just want to like enhance your natural skin and do like a no makeup makeup look. Loving the formula of this. I think the shade is also really good and I'm definitely going to keep using this. This is like a true skin enhancer. Like it looks like your skin but you just rub it in and it just like transforms it instantly but still looks very natural and I love the finish of it. It's a really beautiful product. Okay, Kosa's concealer. I thought this was nice. I think the color that I got this time versus when I first tested this out is so much better. Very creamy, very hydrating. I think the coverage is nice, but I don't really feel like you need this concealer. Like I definitely feel like there's so many other options. And I mean, for me personally, there are a lot of concealers that give me this effect. So it wasn't like a huge kind of like wow factor for me when I put it on. Like it was nice. It is hydrating. It did give me some decent coverage. 
coverage, but I can get this, I feel like, from so many other concealers that I like. So for me, I'll keep using it, but I wouldn't repurchase. With the Kosas powder, I actually do like this. I think it's a nice touch-up powder. That's what I'm gonna use it for and like to set my makeup. I don't love it for the under eyes. I also don't feel like this is for you if you have oily skin. If you have dry skin, you're gonna love this because it, like I said, it's so lightweight. It doesn't feel like much on the skin and it really doesn't mattify your skin. It kind of just like sets and smooths you out. But I can say that I would go out also and repurchase this product. It's not like a must have. To be honest, out of everything that I have tried from Kosas, my number one favorite product is this foundation, the skin improving foundation with SPF in it. So good and it wears really well. So this is personally my favorite from Kosas, but I don't think the concealer and powder are bad. I just feel like for me personally, there's products that I prefer a little bit better. I love this Kaja Cheeky Stamp blush. So beautiful, like the perfect amount of pigment, blended really nicely. I know it kind of did fade a little bit and I ended up adding some powdered blush, but I still really like this formula. The concept is so cute. It's really pretty, love. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, like I mentioned, this is a nice bronzer. You won't be disappointed with it, but if you don't want to splurge, I would say go with Juvia's Place, the bronzer duo. You also can't go wrong with this and both formulas are super, super smooth. I'm not saying it's a dupe, but I'm saying Juvia's Place is amazing. So yeah, both of these, I feel like you won't be disappointed. The LA Girl bronzer is also a good option, but I do like the Juvia's Place one, I will say. It's a lot smoother and the shade range is better. So also this Soul Face and Body Bronzing Balm, so nice. I mean, so blendable and I love the color that it gave my skin. It kind of just looks like very sun-kissed and soft. And then of course, last but not least, Juvia's Place Volume 4 Blush. This cotton candy blush, don't let it scare you. It's wearable, I'm telling you. Like, look at that color. It is perfection. I feel like it's gonna look so good on like all of us. So this is a good one. Okay, and then lip products. I don't like the Kosas lip liner. I feel like this was just so dry. Not really what I expected in the lip pencil. It's just the formula for me wasn't there. And it's funny because like when you swatch it, it shows up, but like actually on the lips, you have to really like pull and tug. And it takes a lot to get some color on your lips with this. So the formula is not my favorite. I would say if you're looking into splurging try the rare beauty lip liners these are really really good i also love the lawless lip plumping lime smoothing gloss like i love it i also like how the plumping isn't too much like it doesn't sting it's a nice formula super smooth and just very supple and this color george like i'm here for it beautiful also how could i forget the summer fridays lip butter balm you guys this is so good i definitely want to get the one there's like this one i should have got it today when i was at sephora but it has a little bit of like a tint i feel like it's going to be the perfect gloss for like the fall and just like in general so i'm really loving these i know it's pricey but it's good like you won't be disappointed i'm curious to know if you guys have tried any of these because i feel like there's so much good stuff in here so let me know your thoughts and as always everything will be linked down below for you and i think that's everything thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i appreciate you and i will see you very soon in my next one bye